I'm Jamie Latour, and this video will show you the location of every Clockwork Castellan wind-up doll in Resident Evil 4 Remake. Throughout every chapter of RE4 Remake is a hidden wind-up doll that looks like Ramon Salazar's original Napoleon-alike appearance from the original RE4 rather than his Margaret Thatcher-like appearance in the remake. Destroying all 16 of these dolls will unlock the Primal Knife, which once fully upgraded or upon using an exclusive upgrade ticket on it, will be completely indestructible. So if you want to get that cool knife, let's start hunting down some dolls. In Chapter 1, you'll find the wind-up doll once you're past the farm section and reach the lakeside settlement. Follow my path over here to this boarded-up shack. I've already killed all the villagers around this area, except for one lady who will throw a stick of dynamite at me around here. That was very rude. Anyway, inside this shack is where you'll find your first doll over here. Chapter 2's wind-up doll won't be found until you go to the valley outside of the abandoned factory and get the hexagonal emblem. Then you'll come back to the spot near the merchant and stick the emblem into the slot to open up these gates. You'll kill some more villagers, head up some stairs, and you'll start seeing crows all over the place. When you continue on, you'll spot an altar with skulls on it, then head towards this shack to your left, go inside, and on the floor to your right is doll number 2. The doll in Chapter 3 can be found when you reach the merchant's hideout near the lake, which is near the first shooting gallery location. Once you're inside, go past the merchant, drop down here, and head to this secluded spot near the lake to find a well-hidden doll up here. To get Chapter 4's doll, you'll need to get another boat so you can travel across the lake freely. Go back to the lakeside settlement, which is located to the northwest as seen here on the map. Once you've dealt with all the villagers here, head towards this door, which you can open with the insignia key, which you should have at this point. Go through the door and then open this metal door to the right, and inside here, there will be a ladder that you need to climb. At the top will be a dead woman on an altar that you sadly can't do anything about. And to find our doll, head this way past the altar towards the wooden fence to find the doll on the other side. For Chapter 5's doll, we have to go back to the Village Chief's Manor. Inside the Master Bedroom, there will be a ladder that you can now access since you now have Ashley with you. Go up the ladder, ignore the spooky owl, and over here next to a smashable crate is the doll. Chapter 6's doll is located around this part of the map. Once you head through a gate, you'll find an area that looks like this, and there will be a shack on the left that will have a sneaky villager and a chest containing the Chalice of Atonement inside. Outside of this shack, over to the right, is a big old bonfire, and our doll is right next to that. Chapter 7's doll will be found after you've dealt with the blind guy with knives on his hands down in the dungeon, and you've gotten the dungeon key. Once you open up this door with the dungeon key, you'll climb up a ladder into a storage area. Walk around here, and you'll find the doll on top of a shelf. You'll know that you're close to Chapter 8's doll when you see this cutscene where an armored giant roars at you. Once that's done, immediately go to the right and drop down. Head towards that ladder and climb up. There will be two cultists up here for you to fight and you might get hit by a boulder or two from the giant. Then go around this bend and you'll find the doll the end.
Chapter 9's doll is hidden away within the hedge maze with all the toothy dogs in the courtyard. Now, when you're at this spot on the map looking at these stairs, go to your left, continue on, then take another left, go on, take a right, keep going, then take another right, and you should come across a first aid spray, and in the corner is the wind-up doll. Chapter 10's doll won't be found until Leon falls down a big hole. Down here in the dungeon, once you're past the section with the invisible bugs, you'll eventually find the merchant down here. Directly across from the merchant is an incredibly well-hidden doll hanging upside down behind a metal grate. Seriously, that one was really hard to find. Chapter 11's doll is found after the first minecart ride when you reach a section that's labeled as the stopover on the map. There will be this dilapidated building here, and there will be some bad guys inside, so kill them. Then look up, and there's the doll. Chapter 12's doll will be found once you get inside the clock tower. After the cutscene with Salazar and a fight with some cultists, head towards the left side of this entrance area to find this doll, which as you can see here is actually the first doll that I found. How about that? As you progress through chapter 13, you'll reach a part where Leon will exclaim, A rocket launcher! And sure enough, you gotta fight a bunch of guys, including one with a rocket launcher. After you've dealt with all of these jerks, you'll continue on through big metal doors and head through a tunnel. And at about this spot on the map, you'll find more guys, including another one with a rocket launcher in an area with shipping containers. Kill all of these guys and then head towards a green forklift near the back. The doll will be to the right of that. Chapter 14's doll will be found after the cutscene where Sadler tries to force Ashley to shoot you. Go through the big doors, head to the right, there will be a guy there, but I've already killed him in this footage. And then in the right corner will be this little area, and the doll will be on top of some lockers. Chapter 15's doll will be found a little after the cutscene where Mike the helicopter pilot is killed by giant bugs. Past the cliffside ruins, you'll need to enter through these rusty double doors to progress. You'll see these hanging body bags, and a regenerador will pop out of one of them that you'll have to fight. Continue on, and you'll see a desk that will have the biological specimen transfer note on it. Enter the room past that, and on the right, you'll find a chest with the splendid bangle inside. After you've picked that up, look up to the rafters over here to find doll number 15. The final doll will be found after you defeat Lord Sadler in his typical Resident Evil big eyeball monster form. From there, you'll have two minutes to evacuate the island before it blows up, so you need to find the doll fast. As you race towards the exit, there will be a door where a guy will bust through to grab you. In the room behind that door will be where all the Ganados are writhing around on the ground, and in here, there will be another forklift. Aim through the cabin to find the 16th and final doll. And with that, you have shot every single one of the dolls and gotten your new shiny knife. For more gaming news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.